Welcome back everybody. Uh, it's been a longer work trip than I thought it was going to be, but I am home as of today. Uh, pretty excited to get back out here. Both tanks should be cured and ready to check, so I'm going to pump up the right tank and see if the last round of sealing finally did the trick and fixed it. And um, if it holds air, I'll let it hold for a while, and then as soon as I think that's actually good, uh, I'm going to move on to the left tank and we'll see how it worked out. Uh, I got this thing in the mail. This is, oh, doesn't look very good at all. Looks like I got a rivet I got to fix. This is an eraser wheel that they use for taking off uh, vinyl and decals and stuff on cars. I'm going to attempt to use it to take off the excessive sealant that's on places I don't want it to be on. So we'll see how that works out. All right, on to the uh, voiceover part. Like I said earlier, it was a longer trip than I had planned on, but it was a good trip. Um, got lots of stuff in the mail, uh, more stuff than what I showed here. Uh, I'll do those during tomorrow's video. I'll show some of the other stuff I got, and some stuff that I ordered I don't have to show you yet, but I did decide on uh, leading edge lights for the plane as well as the lights that I'm going to put in it so I ordered the install kit for those and I ordered all of my lights for the plane wingtips, leading edge, tail, uh, a beacon, all of it so more to come on that anyhow back to this you can see the right tank is back in the cradle uh, this will be its third round of leak testing I believe and Hard to tell, but yeah, that balloon is going down still. Very slowly. The leaks are getting better, but it is still leaking. Uh, and I am trying out that eraser wheel. This this tank had a whole lot of extra sealant on the rear baffle because I didn't want a leak like I had last time. So I put the bead inside like I was supposed to, and I had buttered the edge of the baffle before putting it in, which meant it smeared a little bit um, where I didn't want it. So... I've got a whole lot of stuff to clean up, but that eraser wheel is doing a good job. It'll do a, it'll do a good enough job to get rid of the bulk of it, and then I can come back with just a rag and some acetone and scrub off the rest where I don't want it. Did one edge of the flange. It's nice and shiny. Came out really well. Looking at that tank, hoping that it's not going to leak. And, uh... Now it's time to check the right tank, and right there. I believe that is the same rivet that was leaking before, which there shouldn't be anything getting to those rivets because there should be a bead of sealant before it ever gets there. So that tells me that the bead is not up against the flange right there, and obviously I got some air coming out around that one rivet. Also, just figured out, uh, that's the original balloon I've had on there since the first one and it developed a hole so the balloon itself was leaking had to replace the balloon I wanted to pump some more air back in it just to make sure that I knew where all of the leaks were so I know what I have to fix and different method now and this works way way better for anybody that's going to be doing this in the future um, put the balloon on use a zip tie just to hold the balloon in place. The zip tie doesn't do a very good job by itself creating a good seal. But put the zip tie on to hold it, then take some dental floss and just wrap it several times around the balloon and the fitting. And then take one more zip tie and put it over the floss just to hold it in place. And that made a really good seal for the balloon. Pump it back up and get the soapy water back out and make sure I don't have any other leaks anywhere else that I'm missing. So definitely that one rivet right there. Which at first I was thinking I could just take the fuel cap out and I might be able to get in there through the fuel cap opening and just put some sealant on the inside, but unfortunately where that rivet is at it is in bay two. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there or not. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas how I'm going to try it. Combination of using the boroscope and a long flexible tube with some sealant in it that I can use a syringe and maybe squirt it in there. 
not sure, but I would like to get some sealant on the inside at this point. That way I'm not relying on the rivets to uh, hold the seal in the tank. So in addition to that one leak, I also have one still in the top corner of the rear baffle on both sides. Just a very, very tiny one. Uh, if you're looking at it from this side, it's that top uh, left side of the baffle that you just saw me wipe off and mark. Just a tiny little bit coming out there. So I've thought about it long and hard, and as much as I don't want to do it, uh, I think what I'm going to do is open the tank up. Uh, I'm going to take that fuel pickup and access port out on that side, clean it all off, get in there and put a decent amount of sealant in those corners and then I'll try and go through the filler cap on the other side and do the same thing um, that way I can be sure it's done right that's gonna be my plan hopefully I'll get to that tomorrow and just get on with it tired of playing with that right tank so here's the first leak test for the left tank and when I built this if you watch the other videos I applied everything I learned from the leaks on the right tank to make sure I didn't have the same issues here. And I'm, I'm still happy, most of the tank is dry. It's just that top edge of the baffle that I had problems with. So it could be way worse, could be on the bottom of the tank. Theoretically, there shouldn't be fuel just sitting there all the time. I mean, it'll slosh up there, but still better to get it fixed. Same method for attaching the balloon on this side now that I know it works really well. I've only got one leak test kit, which has one Schrader valve and one cap, so i got to transfer it between tanks. And rather than waiting around to see if the balloon goes down, I decided might as well just start going after it with the soapy water, which I ran out of, so I had to go fill it back up. So far I'm looking in disbelief because I'm not seeing any bubbles. Went and got more soapy water, came back, finished dousing the entire thing down, every rivet line, all the ends, the baffle, everything. And I cannot find a single leak on this tank. And it has been almost six hours now. And as of now, you can see this last picture, the tank is still holding air. So the left tank is, as far as I can tell, good to go. So stay tuned, fixes are coming. <laughs>